Welcome back to the channel where tonight I am going to feature one from a brewery out of Columbus, Ohio. That brewery is called Lane Grant Brewing Company and this is a collaboration beer. So right here, this is called their Open Always. It is a peanut butter chocolate brown ale. You heard me correctly, brown ale. Don't get enough love here in the uh, review world on YouTube. Uh, but this here is a collaboration with Buckeye Donuts. So Land Grant Brewing, Buckeye Donuts teamed up and produced this open always. So look at the artwork here. So this character is a very, very close to what the um, Brutus uh, Buckeye, the mascot for the Ohio State uh, Buckeyes, um, looks like. And Ohio State located in Columbus, Ohio, land grant Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I'm assuming Buckeye Donut is also in um, Columbus, Ohio. I could be mistaken there. I actually didn't do that much research. So you see the uh, the riff on um, Brutus, uh, Brutus Buckeye there, except he has like a baking hat where Brutus would have like a, hopefully I got a picture of him up here, would have like a, you know, an Ohio State ball cap on and he's got jeans on where I think Brutus, I wanna say he wears like gray pants, I can't remember, and it's more of a gray and red striped shirt. Um, you know, the, the colors of Ohio State, right? And this is more of a white and red striped shirt. So very, very close uh, as far as um, the characters, and that's what it's for, to sell beers right here. Uh, football season, uh, college football season started, we're about four weeks, was this week four? I think we're four weeks into it right now, three or four weeks into uh, college football season, I think four. And um, this, I'm sure, is uh, selling like um, like hotcakes, selling like donuts there in uh, Columbus. So I'm going to crack this open and uh, get a pour on this thing. Now, I'm not an Ohio State fan, but this this can is cool. This is, this is just a cool can, um, especially if you're an Ohio State fan. Uh, I'm going to get a pour on this thing and... Um, see what it's all about. Before I do that, I did have some reading on the back. 6.6% uh, alcohol by volume. Sorry about that. Uh, ingredients, peanut butter, cacao nibs, stoffs, coffee, and donuts. It says how it tastes. How does it taste? Roasty, smooth, coffee. All right. So now let's get it cracked open. And I did. This is only 250 a can. You know, it's a 12 ouncer. Uh, I've seen it, and the only reason I really got it is because I thought it'd be fun to review uh, kind of the uh, big Ohio State uh, kind of connection to it and everything. I thought it'd be fun. Plus, Brownell. You know, I don't really do a lot of Brownells on the channel, so I thought, uh, thought it was a cool opportunity to kind of roll everything together here. So, lots of carbonation there in this. Just about a finger of a, of a tan you know, tan head. Uh, it's got that tea look. Um, a little bit more clear down here in the bottom. As it flares out, it gets a little darker as you'd expect. But it does have a lot of a tea, like a tea look to it. Oh, wow. Wow, there's a ton of chocolate. I get a lot of that cocoa. I will say, wow, there is... There is a lot of uh, cocoa in this. It's called. It says it's a peanut butter chocolate coffee brown ale. I get a lot of a chocolate cocoa uh, ness to it. The coffee is kind of faint, really. At least in the aroma, uh, coffee is kind of faint. This just smells like um, it's a brown ale. Uh, it does kind of smell like a porter, but it kind of puts me in mind of a porter. Uh, the two styles are kind of similar anyway. But anyhow, that's really all I'm picking up in the aroma, so let's get a drink on this thing. Okay, there's that coffee. Body's thin on this one. Got a little bit of a tingly on the tongue, a little prickliness. Uh, it is pretty, it says clean. Is it clean on there? Hmm. 
No, it didn't, but for a brown owl, there's a little bit of kind of a crisp, uh, uh, clean factor to it. Super easy drinking, very wetty, wet, watery. All right, so what do I get? Man, that cocoa, that cacao nibs, that raw cocoa is just in your face. Uh, there is coffee. It's called a coffee brown owl. Man, there's coffee there. Um, I've had many, many beers that have way more of a coffee sensation uh, than this one does. So, peanut butter. Peanut butter and chocolate are the, you know, chocolate, then peanut butter, then the coffee comes through. But by far, chocolatey and peanut buttery. The more I'm getting my nose in this, the more I'm actually picking up a roasty peanut butter to it. Hey, if you're into brown ales, you know, maybe some porter or something like that, yeah, you probably dig this one. It does have a very, very flavorful peanut butter and chocolate that comes through. It is very nice. Uh, it's mild on the coffee, so if you're not a huge coffee stout, coffee uh, type of drinker, beer, coffee drinker, whatever, um, you might like this one because the coffee's not in your face, but the chocolate and peanut butter is. And normally, uh, when I get a good nose of peanut butter, it always fells in the taste, or most of the time, more times than not, it fells in, to deliver in the taste. This one, a lot of chocolate, faint peanut butter, and then uh, coffee and the aroma. But taste-wise, peanut butter is actually much more present in the taste than I was actually picking up in the aroma. Score in this thing, solid 4.15 out of 5. Uh, it is a brown ale, and typically brown ales just are like the stepchildren uh, in the beer world, it seems like. Uh, so I'm going to give this 4.15. It's very good. I really do like the peanut butter and chocolate and how it comes through in this one here. So, hey, you're not a subscriber? Become one. I could appreciate. I would definitely appreciate that. Drop a comment. Give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate all that too. Like always, thanks for watching.